Hi guys, this is Sahar Jyot again. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for your support on my other videos. I hope you have already built your image slider in Unbounce. If not, then I have shared the link in the description below where you can create your image slider from scratch. If you have already created it, you may have seen some problem with the call to action button in mobile view. So we'll quickly fix that in this video. Currently it looks like this in mobile view if you see it. So if you scroll up a bit then you can see this call to action button is currently broken in two halves. So we'll fix that in this video. I have got plenty of requests to fix this uh, call to action button in this slider so I decided to make a quick video for it. So now we'll see how we can fix that. You need to go to the style sheets and you need to open this slider CSS over here, this style sheet. We'll scroll to the bottom. This is the class uh, that is used for the call to action button in the code that we have written for the slider claim button. So this is the class that we are using for it and we are using a media query to make this image slider responsive. So now as you can see in this format we are giving padding of 90 pixel to left and right of the call to action button. So currently it's taking 180 pixel space uh, on this row 90 pixel on the left and 90 pixel on the right so we should just change it to 10 pixel or maybe you can change it to 5 pixels that should be good enough so when you click on done and you click on save when you preview it you should see the call to action button is fixed so we'll see it in the mobile view there you go now you can see it's in one line it's not broken it, it, the same class is applied to all the call to action buttons so you just need to fix it once and uh, it will be fixed for all the slides that you have in your slider right i hope you find it helpful please like it and subscribe to the channel for more tips i'll be coming back with more videos thank you so much